I've never done anything like this before. I'm actually quite scared up here. It's quite a long drop, but I'm going to do it. Oh my goodness. Hello, I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. So let's dive straight into the questions you see. What was beeped out? Is that drop really 40 feet? And most important of all, did he just clickbait me? All will be revealed, but first we must start with a life book recap. So Lifebook is a way to design your ultimate life through exploration of 12 categories. I've always found the categories to be holistic and you can find my Lifebook journey documented in the links below. Now, as an upfront disclaimer, I recently stopped using my tweaked version of Lifebook. Even with a focus on the why instead of the what, I found that with three to five goals in each category, suddenly there were 50 or so important things fighting for my attention and this system marketed to free me, I actually found to chain me. It chained me because I couldn't do it all. And so as my focus and desire became more clear, I actually started to recognize that the old goals didn't match the new me. I'll restart the process again, experiencing significant time and energy. And this time an external event, for example, COVID-19 forced change to the new goals and the cycle repeats again. Therefore, I found Lifebook to be slow, limiting, and without seeing the progress I intended, I decided to drop it for a leaner, more agile system custom built for me, which I'll detail at the end of this video. Well, it was about embracing my fear during a time of change. Because for many, if not all, times of change are closely followed by feelings of anxiety. COVID-19 is a great example of large unfolding change, and whether it be loss of loved ones, lingering uncertainty, the loneliness of social distancing, or my personal favorite, too much quality time with the little ones around us, we all have our triggers that can elicit discomfort or fear during times of change. But is this the only way to respond to change? Can we consciously reframe crisis as opportunity and therefore learn to embrace the fear? Sure, this is nothing new. The Navy SEALs are renowned for pushing humans to their limit. But what about us normal people stuck in a house or apartment practicing social distancing? We don't have a drill sergeant yelling in our face or a squad we don't want to let down. We might not even have the dream to help push us through. So how can we do it on our own? Can we learn to embrace our fears? I believe we can, which is why I'm on that edge consciously challenging myself to acknowledge the shaking in my legs, the dramatic what ifs running through my mind and slowly take that deep breath. Still my mind, tell myself that the opportunity I seek exists, that there's no fear for others, that the fear I feel is all in my mind, that I can do this. So, did you fall for the clickbait? Let's find out. You know, as ugly and clumsy as that was, it was beautiful to me. When I started this channel, I wanted that jump as my intro so bad, I didn't push myself to do it. But that was back then. The world's changed and so have I. Riding through this tighter change of my new system, I chose to consciously push myself through a fear, become comfortable with the uncomfortable and reframe a crisis to create my own opportunity, no matter how little or large. And with focus, determination and a deep breath, you can do it too. I believe in you to do it. The world needs us to rise past our fears, become the best version of ourselves, and create the next wave of opportunity for all to bask in. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your journey and feel free to share in the comments below what opportunities you wish to create. Lastly, the new system I built for me is comprised of two single parts. The first leverages the Lifebook 12 categories as a fence to box thoughts. However, my focus is on who am I as an individual and what type of characteristics do I need to display or develop? My motivation is to become the type of person I wish would be there to help me in this moment. And so far, this has provided the flexibility to focus on whichever category I believe to be most crucial without feeling a sense of letdown or frustration. Now, I found this to help me reframe from time spent to time invested. The second part continues with SMART goals where now I only keep two to three active goals at a time. I find this much easier to maintain focus and dedication. And this has led to more conscious habit building, accountability and progress. In essence, do one or two things and do them with your full mind, body and spirit. The rest can wait, which it was already doing before. Thanks and good luck.